The new paradigm is that it's the first time that a middle-income country is the second largest economy. We're asking it you know, from IMF or international pressures for capital account liberalization, exchange rate um, you know, flexibility. What that does is that we are not prepared for the volatility that China will bring to the world economy if it does open up. Micro foundations of the financial infrastructure is very weak, predominated, dominated by speculators rather than uh, institutional investors. Mm -hmm. So we need to think about this dilemma. We want it to open up. It has a massive amount of saving, connect with the rest of the world for investment, and yet it's going to introduce so much extra volatility, typical of a developing country, yeah. and the world is not prepared for that yet. And I think that is the number one challenge that we need to think about because that is the financial story written today.